My name is Joe, and this is a video response to Yahweh Servant 777's video on responses to several people and Zach Exposed. I am making this video response because I personally, there's just a very few things that I want to talk about. I'm posting this video on as a response to David's video and as a response to your video, Yahweh's servant. So, I ask you to please uh, consider what I have to, have to say and just think about it and study it out. There's some doctrinal issues that need to be discussed because they're not founded on scripture. For instance, this one. It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Mother. Specifically that one I want to hit on. The Holy Spirit. Christ himself said to the disciples about the Holy Spirit, he says, When he, the Spirit of truth, will shall come, he will guide you into all truth. If Christ said that, why are you teaching something else? Um, you also said not keeping the true Sabbath, as well as disobeying the rest of the Ten Commandments is willful disobedience and must be confessed and repented of, lest you fall under judgment. Now, three of the earliest church fathers stated that the church body celebrated on Sunday because that was the day that Christ arose. They said that. Why are you teaching something different? You say, the Holy Spirit is using this ministry to reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And my question is, what is his gospel? Because if you answer this question, you're going to realize that God became a man and lived among us and died and rose again to rescue us from spiritual death. Following Ten Commandments is not going to rescue you from spiritual death. Please, don't twist scripture and try to make it say something that it never said. I know Paul specifically speaks against this kind of thing. He says that there are people who twist the scriptures to promote legalism. And this leads me... On this issue of legalism, this leads me to my last point. You say, we will be meeting all of you in heaven who agree and live by this, your statement of faith. Now, I don't agree with all your points in your statement of faith. Does that mean that I'm going to hell? I thought the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleansed us from all sin. Yes, I believe in following standards that God set in his word and st standards of authority that God has placed over you. But following those laws are not going to make you right in God's sight. That's my point. My conclusion. I write here, Zach was judged too harshly. He was condemned to hell. Just because he stated that the Bible disagreed on certain points with your statement of faith. What you should have done was reevaluate your statement of faith in order to see if he was correct or not. And if he was correct, you should have changed your statement of faith on those points accordingly and apologized to him in an email for misleading him and admitting your mistake. Any man can practice self-control, but it takes a real man to have compassion towards people who don't appreciate his point of view instead of harboring malice and anger in their heart. Your anger is not indignation that is a righteous anger but rather of deep-seated bitterness. I know this because I sensed it 
when you threatened to pray against David. And if I'm not mistaken, you also talked about calling upon demonic forces to pray against David too. That is not scriptural. That doctrine is not from God. Where did you hear that from? Where did you get that from? I could have misunderstood what you said, but that's what I understood. You said you were going to call on demonic powers to assist you in praying against David. Christ never taught his disciples that, did he? Better read the Gospels again. If you think that he did. You have excellent self-control. Just work on keeping love in your heart towards everybody and practice having some compassion. Even I need to work on that too because sometimes what people say about the Bible makes me very upset. Like for instance, Jesus never existed. Your God is cruel and heartless and all of that bunch of lies from the devil. I don't condemn them to hell though. I try to reason with them, talk with them, figure out where they're coming from and show them what the Bible has to say. I don't condemn them to hell. They may be going there, but I don't have to rub it in their face. God tells me to love them. And that's what I'm going to do.